I don't know whether we're celebrating it or not, but uh, <laughs> we're 10 years in uh, this award-winning car talk show. It's or called In Wheel Time. Today coming to you from Studio A in Texas, USA. I'm not going to let you talk. I know. Just ahead, we're going to talk to... Uh, we don't. We there's a, some bit of an argument in the studio of whether no. it's Peltier or Peltier. Peltier at Evadale Raceway. We're trying to get him lined up right now. Tall Pine of East Texas Drag Strip. Uh, we'll take a look at the events calendar. Mr. Mars reviews the 2021 what Mars Cadillac CT5V. Woo woo. Do you have that in this? I do machine? have that in there. Yep. Okay. So let me let, here. So apparently hold, I can't hold on just a minute and write at the same time. Cadillac CT5V. Okay. And then you put hubba hubba after that. Something like that. Howdy, along with Mike <laughs> out of this world, Mars, because that's today, clearly where he was today. when he helped produce today's program. <laughs> <laughs> out of this world? Out of this world. And then there is King Conrad DeLong. I'm still trying to figure out how we win awards for doing this. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Mis Mr. Toenails himself right here. Matter of fact, I think we're going to change it from King Conrad DeLong to Pedicure DeLong. Or Toenail. I could be named after an Alfa Romeo. That's right. Toenail. <laughs> there you go. The new, the new Alfa Romeo Toenail. He's not Alpha. Anything. Does anybody, do, do people not, when, when they name things, There's do they gotta not? There's got to be an accent or something on there. It's probably Tonali or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. It's but it, it, but it, in, in, in the English words, and they're going to sell this car here. It looks like toenail, yeah. T-O-N-A-L-E. Well, you got to remember, Nova had a weird uh, thing in, in South America. A, meaning, a weird meaning, yeah. And so did Pajero, <laughs> the so Mitsubishi. The Mitsubishi uh, Pajero. Pajero. Yeah. 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 So. And I called it the Pajero, which is a completely different meaning that we don't even want to go there. Yep. But so, you know, it, <laughs> it'll be an interesting thing to do for our Facebook page is some of the just out of their mind car names as well as logos that they've done through the years. But you, know, you, but you know, you stop and think about it. You know, you've got, now in today's world, it's a global automobile industry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, they may have the same car that goes to South America that's sold here in the United States, but it's called one thing in the United States and something else in South America. Oh, very common. Right. Australia, same So thing. why don't they do that with the toenail? Because hmm. <laughs> it's got a fungus <laughs> among us. I, you know, I... I there Captain. are some things that make sense, but that doesn't make sense was to a, me. It was, a, it was a music group called Captain and Toenail. Was that? <laughs> Captain, Captain and, Toenail. and Toenail. That's perfect. <laughs> it, could, it could be. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think you look back on it now, and you'd probably think, mm. nah. I actually paid real green money to go see him. To go see the Captain and Toenail in Lake Tahoe because there was nothing else there to Lake see. Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe. They were Beautiful playing place. they were playing in Lake Tahoe. And I have to tell you that I was to say the least disappointed. Oh. Really? In, in it them? was not a yeah, it was not a show like you would expect. Didn't get backstage. If you, you went to see Barry Barry Manilow, now that's a show. It's a show orchestra. The whole thing is a show. It's highly produced. But you go and you see a female singer and her husband at the time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. playing the piano who has this room has more personality than he does. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. But we win awards for this. We do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, they, and they made millions. There's something wrong with this picture. It's backwards. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I digress. Oh, we like it though. <laughs> this 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 whole show has digressed. In Lake from in Lake Tahoe of all places, which is like three hours from everywhere. Yeah. You correct. know, you really gotta wanna go to Lake Tahoe um, to get there. Be stunningly beautiful location. I understand that they actually have an airport there. Yeah, they do. Yeah, but they I, do. I, I can't imagine where or how? Well, the easier thing would be to fly into Reno and then drive. No, down it's not the easy thing to do no, because that's what I did. No. Then you have to drive three hours to go up oh, the wow. mountain to get up there where oh, the volcano the used to be. Yeah. Yeah. That you know that is the deepest lake in the United in the United, in the world. It's like six hundred plus feet. Well, I would believe it because it the the water. It's crystal clear, but you look in there and it's black because yeah. it's so deep and down in there. Yeah. It's very cold. But they say down there, you said it's, it is the caldera of a volcano. Right. Yeah. And you know what else is up on North Lake Tahoe? Squaw Valley. Well, 
I don't know about that. The, the ski resort. But I can tell you that is also the filming location for the outside shots of Bonanza. Oh. Right, right. Yeah, that's on the northeast side uh -huh. of it. And then straight north is where they filmed um, The Godfather Part 2 when they dumped Fredo in Lake Tahoe. Is that where it yeah, was? Yeah, there's actually, a, there is a, is it a Fredo or Guido? That, Fredo. There, there's a home there that was used in the filming, and that's where the boat went out when they put cement shoes on Fredo and fed him to the fish. <laughs> well, they, they shot him. Well, he, Michael shot him first, <clears throat> and then dumped him in there. Haas Cartwright was on The Rifleman the other day. Haas Cartwright was, oh, Haas Cartwright was quite known. He did some Corvette commercials as well. well. Yeah, he, yeah, he did truck commercials too. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you're, you're talking about that 60s. Back in the 60s, the car manufacturers got into this full line, uh, basically, presentation right, right, of right. their entire lineup of cars. See the USA in your Chevrolet. Chevrolet. There you go. That who, would be Dinah Shore. Dinah Shore. Shore, yeah. <laughs> and that would be George Skelton's. Um, uh, ant or something flying the plane over yep. the top. So there's the tie back. There you go, George. You go, I'll George. give you one there. Thank you. Yeah. So how are we looking down there, Mr. Mars? Well, we've got we audio, see his, but we've we got his a name on video the problem. Yeah, we had him and then we lost him. Yeah. But, but can we talk to him yeah, well, while you work on, on his video? I'm working on oh, that. Look, there, there he is. Ta da. Maybe. No, mm, well, <laughs> no, that's somebody else. <laughs> He's at the track. No, you know who better. that you know who that is. That's Conrad's toenail person. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we, you've dialed the wrong number again, Mr. Again. Mars. I don't, I, mean, I don't think so. No, uh, he's, his shirt says Evandale. Let me ask you something. Eva Dale, not Evandale. There's no, no in there. Do you, Eva Dale. Do, do, do you actually have one person that you go see at the toenail shop? Yeah, because none of the rest have them to touch my toes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Ralph, she used to have a shop that had multiple girls worked in it I'm, now. I'm having trouble since, sitting next to you. Since COVID, it's just down <laughs> to Cindy. Is the, I noticed the that one. you are leaning know, kind of toward me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But now Cindy is the sole. Are you uh, going to call her right now? Her right now. No, but I'll, uh, we're going to give her a phone number out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Don't. Well, you go there if you want to. Sorry. But I don't want anybody touching no, my feet. I don't either. Especially the same person that touches his feet. Exclusive nails in the vintage uh, oh, dear God. area. Uh, exclusive nails by Cindy, 832-465-5929. And Randy Borcharding with Paint House <laughs> has offered to make exclusive colors for that. Cindy's exclusive for Cindy's, nails. Yes. He doesn't uh -huh. have spray-out sheets. He's got toenail spray-outs. <laughs> toenail spray-outs. It's like Bigfoot yeah. <laughs> with these claws on it. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm. I'm. I'm this poor guy's on the what other it, end. Of the what, he's on the other end. He's what shaking his what head. What did I join going, in? What in the world are y'all doing? And what are y'all talking about? Well, we're trying to pad the time because Mars can't seem to get <laughs> oh, his boy. act together down there at the <laughs> other end. It's, it's well, while we're padding days. time, uh, right, did you hear I this? Th well, I think Gary. Yeah. Gary, can you hear? You're good. You're there, aren't you, Gary? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Gary, with the argument that we had before you joined us, is it Gary Peltier or Peltier? The first pronunciation was correct. It's, everybody says Pelche, but it's actually pronounced Peltier. That's uh, that's French. That's Kunas as you, as you can get. Well, uh, yes, because my dad had a friend, oh, one friend, over there in Louisiana, and his name was Peltier, and it's spelled just like yours. And so I thought, it's got to be Peltier. And you're close yeah. to Louisiana, so I figured, well, what the heck. Yes. Eva Dale, the Eva Dale Raceway. It's a drag strip. Is it cut in the pine trees out there? That it is. We were originally uh, concepted as a airport, a private airport. Wow. And um, that went away, and it, it stayed stagnant for a while. And then we, uh, as after a, a car show and cruise night in a local uh, adjacent town, and uh, got with the owner and said, hey, you know, let us come out here and make a little bit of money and it spread through wildfire like that car show and uh cruise night and we waited like an hour and 45 minutes to get in the gate the very first night that's how far backed up it was how wow. cool is that though what, obviously you fulfilled a need up there so are you running cars every weekend up there yes sir we we try to race every weekend in fact this weekend it's friday saturday and sunday 
It's the Show Me the Money Index Series. That is correct. We're paying out $7,000 tonight. Whoa. Wow, just tonight. Just tonight. As, is, there, a, is there a place for spectators? Yes, we have. Uh, we actually have some unique grandstands. We got grandstands on both sides, but there was a facility in Beaumont years ago that was torn down, a coliseum, and we got the center section out of this coliseum, and right where the monster trucks would drive through, through the middle of the the grandstands and come out into the coliseum. Yeah, we got that section, and we've actually put it right over the drag strip. So it is. It's you know just a few hundred yards behind the burnout box. Oh, so you can oh, look down cool. the track from the spectators. It's kind of like the. And you, the, you could get all sweets. those little bitty yeah, spots yeah. Of, uh, of of rubber all over your face. Get a face full <laughs> of smoke. Yeah. Get How? you right up in the action. The, the bleachers are, re- are pretty high up, up off the ground, so it kind of keeps you away from that. And then say a couple hundred yards back, but it, it's got a unique feel like no other track that I've ever been to. Gary, where? Explain to everybody. Now we're coming from Houston, so how would we get to Evadale Raceway? It's very easy. I 10 east until you get to the Vider exit. Um, you're going to take the Vider exit, and you have to forgive me on the exit number. And when you take that Vider exit ahead north, it is actually 15 minutes. You can turn left into the track. Wow. Oh, well, that's not bad at all. That's just pretty So close. that's up. That's the, the Vider exit, that's from the main street in Vider, right? That is correct. Yeah. That is uh, 105. Yeah, that's 105. And then the next exit is Highway 12. So if you get to Highway 12, you went too far, you need to back up one. Okay, that's correct. Oh, there you go. So, uh, all I can think of is uh, a drag strip that I used to hang out at when I was in high school called East Tex Dragway. And it was up on US 59 and just north of what is now Kingwood. None of that was up there. And uh, 59, I think, back then at that time was only a two lane yeah, road that went up, yeah. went, up, went up to the Piney Woods. But I will tell you that this particular drag strip was cut into. The pine trees. And it was just wide enough for the strip, the return road, and when you got down toward the the start line, uh, there was just enough room for, I don't know, some real small bleachers, maybe 10 rows of bleachers for people to sit. And if you wanted to park your car, not race your car, but park and be a spectator, you parked underneath the pine trees all around. Yeah, And that's what, from what you've described to me, that's kind of... Like what you got going on up there. It brings back the memories. Yes, it has the same feel, um, you know, just in the woods type track. And um, I said we converted it over from airstrip. So it still has that old timey hot rod gasser feel to it, if you will. Oh, cool. Do you have any uh, gassers that run out there? We do. And we do have uh, a couple of events to kind of cater to those guys. Um, and I've also kind of switched gears a little bit. I also got another facility in Lufkin, Texas, which is an hour and a half north of Evadale. And our next nostalgical class will be uh, July 17th at Pine Valley Raceway. We're going to have outlaw fuel altars. We're going to have some top fuel Harleys. And we even have some vintage uh, top fuel Harleys. That That is cool. I mean, I, yeah, I've, I've got a friend that races up at uh, at your uh, Lufkin location. Uh, Rick Mortimer, he runs his uh, 55 Chevy yes, up there all the time. Well, I mean, to me, this is a, a, a great day trip. Drive up there, go to the races, and if you need to, drive back or go find you a hotel or motel somewhere. I mean, it's fun stuff. Do you race on like a Sunday afternoon? We try not to do a lot of stuff on Sundays, although... Uh, we do have three-day events here and there. Uh, this weekend, for on our Sunday, we have a, a car show, a truck show, bike show, and then um, a sound off or a crank it up contest, if you will. There's a local club out of Beaumont, Texas, that's coming. That's a team bass outlaws, career. like a cackle fest. This the SummerSlam 2K21 car show and sound off is tomorrow. See, yes, it, sir. It, it, we we have an event that we're going to tomorrow. Uh, it's a it's a event here at Bayway Chevrolet down in Pearland, and it's a it's a charity event. It's for uh, wheelchairs for warriors. So uh, that's going to be two to six tomorrow. Otherwise, I might have to take me a trip up there to Lufkin or over to Evadale Raceway. Uh, you know, because from my experience, you know. The cars there 
are different than the cars oh, here. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And it, it, it's, it's a whole different set of guys out there enjoying their cars and taking oh, yeah. them down they, the drive. They come out of the woods, but they do. he does get some draw out of Houston and some from over in Louisiana because he's so close yes, to the line. Yes, sir, that's correct. In fact, like today's event for this index series that we're doing, we do it once a month uh, throughout the whole year, and there will be cars from several surrounding states that are show up for this. So do you, do you draw heavily from uh, Louisiana as well? Yeah, some nights we have more Louisiana spectators and Louisiana <laughs> race cars. Um, just depends on what's going on. But we're so close. We're like 40 minutes, uh, 30, 40 minutes from the state line. Oh, okay. They're, they're, the exit is uh, exit 860 off of I-10 and Vider and just turn north. And you're, you know, what you said is about 15 minutes, 15 minutes. minutes north. Yeah. Off of exit 860. Pretty easy to do. Yes, sir. Yeah. And it will bring – it's been years since I've been out there. Don't get me wrong. But it will remind you so much of being at Porter in, in those days whenever you could just go racing for fun. And you just did yes. it because you could. Yeah. Well, it sounds yes, – it sounds. We try to be a big family uh, facility. We do a lot of stuff with the kids even during, during the night, during the race. We'll stop and we'll put the kids on big wheels or we have a junior dragster program that we do. And we just – like I said, we try to be a, a family facility. We don't sell alcohol, nothing like that. So, is the track lit? Yes, absolutely. Oh, it is. It's not the people. It was an there. airport, so that yeah, it's got it's got lighting. Very nice. Uh, well, I'm thrilled. Uh, you know, Mr. Mars set this up, and I thought, well, wait a minute, I've never heard of Eva Dale Raceway. Well, now I have. And uh, also, there. also Pine Valley Raceway up in Lufkin. And your Show Me the Money Index Series is a monthly event, from what I can, yeah, from what I can see. Yeah. So yes, it, it repeats every month. I'm assuming it's about the third Saturday of every month. Yeah. Well, it, it, fun times to be had by all. There's no doubt about it. Well, Gary, it's uh, it's great to talk to you. And I assume that there's a, a Facebook page or a website already, or something like that. It's already posted on yes, our Facebook page. you can check page. out all our events on both our Facebook pages. So Evadale Raceway. Or Pine Valley Raceway, and you keep current with everything that's going on. Yeah, I've already got Eva Dale. I'll put Pine Valley up on our Facebook page as well. Like I said, we have everything from uh, some new age stuff all the way to this nostalgical events. Uh, like last night was our – we tried to do the first Friday of the month. We do a what we call Friday night call-outs, and it's for daily street cars, trucks, and bikes. And what we just do this to promote – help keep the young ones from racing – on the street yeah. it uh it got so bad at a, in beaumont texas and they had an incident that it just kind of compelled us to do this so we lowered the price it's ten dollars to get in it's ten dollars if you want to race and if you keep your wristband you get in tomorrow for the same price oh, and wow. um we, we pretty much turned this facility over to these guys on friday night they do dig races roll races third honk races everything they would do on the street but we give them a safe facility to do it at. So if you, if you need to classify cars, is there somebody there that puts you in a class if you don't know what your class is? Yes, yes, absolutely. And then, and then on this Friday night call outs, like I said, it's all daily, like stuff that these guys drive back and forth to work every day. So you could bring the so, vet, Don, and have no class. We, oh! oh! <laughs> so so it'd be, it's basically like grudge racing, you know, grudge matches and stuff. So, yes, absolutely. That's sort of what you see yeah, on these, there's, these TV there's shows. There's no timing system. You just first man to yeah, the end. Yeah, for the Friday night call-outs, there's no timing system and no flashlight. Um, I mean, it's a flashlight start, so there's no timing system and no prep. And so it's just like these, these young ones are on the street. So kind of gives them that shows. same feel. Explain, explain the flashlight start because that's you don't see that very often. Not yeah, on a track. It's just, it's just like you see on TV uh, on Discovery Channel for like those three Street hours. hours. Yeah, same thing. In fact, I had one of those guys testing there last night. I had Scott Taylor from New Orleans. I have a, several of those street outlaw people come and test with me during the middle of the week. And then I have two to three events that I do with them a year that really draw a huge spectator crowd. Oh, well, you need to let us know when you're going to have one of those because I'd, I'd, I'd sure love to come out and see it. I know John, uh, Scott Taylor's got a, a track doe, which is his Firebird, but my favorite car of his is John Doe, which is his Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. Which has very little yes, Oldsmobile sir. and in no fact, color uh, Supreme. Scott was, Scott was uh, with us all day yesterday with Track Doe Car. How okay. fun. Cool. In yeah. East Texas. Yeah. In Evadale Raceway. Right. Bring, sure. bring, 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 I'll let you know, man. 
I would, I'd love to have y'all and, uh, I'll definitely let y'all know when the next street outlaw event is coming up and, uh, I'd love to have y'all come in. Awesome. Well, cool. Yeah, that, that's certainly a, a, a possibility. And, yeah. You know, we'll bring the ice chest full of ice and lots of Gatorade because it's not, It's going to be a little toasty around those yeah. parts. Right. It's closer to Mars's house. We'll have to drive all the way out there then. Yeah, now we go. get to know what he feels like. Get a two and a half hour head start. <laughs> <laughs> Get him that way to it, have a show. <laughs> Gary, it's great to talk to you, man. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your time today. Uh, the Pine Valley Raceway and the Evadale Raceway, they're up on our website, and we hope to see you again soon. Racing in the pine woods. Yep. Yes, sir. Thank you all. Y'all have a great day. You do you the too. same. Thanks. Thank you. That was fun. Yeah. Well, they, I didn't realize the track Drew had that big a draw. That's well, pretty cool. But, but what else is around there? There's nothing. So, you know, guys that are into cars, I mean, they're all working guys. Oh, yeah, looking yeah. for a but track. <laughs> listen to the, the story. The track over in Lake Charles is uh, they used the old Air Force base. They used to drag race there, but now it's strictly sports cars. That's the story. It was an abandoned airfield. Airfield. Well, airstrip. Is, yeah, but so, but so, so they brought that back to life in their right. own way. Oh, very much so. Yeah. Very much so. Well, cool. Yeah, we need to uh, we need to get Mars to connect with him, and next time they have the you know, street outlaws. And if guys nothing else, what we could remote. do is after this show, we just gang up and go on over there. Yeah, because particularly this time of year, they're running mainly in the evenings and at nights because the heat. You know, it just it's awful warm in pine trees. There ain't no breeze. I, I can't be in a gang. <laughs> You're in a gang, whether you like it or not. An award winning you gang. haven't figured out. Much that, less yeah. with a bunch of sweaty men. <laughs> <laughs> there, is, there is that. All right. All right. Are we oh, ready to do boy. the events calendar? Because there's events. We got an event tomorrow, as a matter of fact. We have a big event tomorrow down at Bayway Chevrolet. It is wheelchairs for warriors, fundraiser, and car show. Uh, the... Car show starts at 2, but you want to get there earlier than that so you can get yourself registered. Mm -hmm. And it goes to 6 p.m. And it's going to be the display area is going to be, as you look at Bayway Chevrolet, it's going to be on the left side or the west side over where the used cars are. They're going to kind of clear the lot out for the show. Yep. There's going to be a bunch of food trucks there. Yep. And um, and we'll be there. We'll yeah. be there from we'll 2 be to there. 5 yeah. broadcast. Well, so if you, if you go, well, I don't see them. Well, we're going to be right back there behind the used car office, and um, so we're, they're going to put us in the corner. Put gonna, yeah. baby in the baby, corner. Baby I'm used to corner. that. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be there. Oh yeah. So come on out and say hi. Two to six. Bring a cool car. We'll put you on the air. Yep. Come on out and tell us what kind of car you brought. We'll be happy to put you on the air and talk to you. If my if Mars can find you and get you to show up on time for the interview, we'll be happy to. <laughs> Ooh, a little boy. dig there. Are, are you? What are you <laughs> trying to the, say? Of course, yeah. the, of course, the car may be something completely different than what he has written down, but whatever. <laughs> All right. What Con are you trying to pl say? Please continue. <laughs> well, some of the other stuff that's coming up is uh, Saturday, July twenty first. In Cold Spring is their truck and bike show at the Cold Spring, Texas Community Center. And then, uh, you know, in September 25th, Woody's third annual waterfront car show at Topwater Grill, and we'll be there as well. Yes. Uh, we'll actually live. be there this year. We're not going to try to do that hanky-panky that we did last year that just didn't work out. And hanky then, of course, panky. next weekend is uh, Tailpipes and Tacos at uh, Lupe Tortillas. In, in Katy, Katy, Texas, at uh, Kingsland, Kingsland and 99. 99. And, uh, but they're also going to have uh, two other locations at the down. Well, not down, I'm going to say downtown, but it, the, it, yeah, the, it, it's called the uh, Greenway West, Plaza. Well, it's called Westview, Westview location. location. And the other one's out in Tomball. Up in Tomball. Uh, out there by you. Very close to me. I keep waiting for us to do our show from there so I don't have to wake up an hour early. No hanky panky, but there the will be hokey here. pokey. And, yeah, so, and if you don't like it, you can turn yourself around. There you go. And then uh, racing calendar. If you want to. Yeah, so, so uh, today, or tomorrow is going to be the Tosca, Tasca Parts New England Nationals. Erica Enders, as of last night, was qualified third in pro stock. And then uh, on uh, June the 27th is Summit Racing Nationals in Norwalk. On the 18th is the SRT Mile High Nationals at Bandemir. NASCAR is tomorrow night 
at uh, Texas for their all-star race, but they're going to be racing trucks in Xfinity today. And then on the 20th, Nash at Nashville Super Speedway with uh, the cup cars. Yep. First time they've been to Nashville in forever. Uh, Formula One is going to be on June the 20th at Circuit Paul Richard for the French Grand Prix. The following week on the Paul 20th. Ricard, isn't it? Yeah, Ricard, Richard. Tomato, whatever, tomato, tomato whatever, yeah. um, And then on the 27th, they're going to be in Austria at the Red Bull Ring. Uh, t- today and tomorrow. I want to go to the nose ring. The toe ring. Belly oh, ring. the toe ring, yeah. No, belly that's button your, ring. That's your cup of tea there. Belly button And then uh, today and tomorrow, Detroit at Belle Isle. Yep. Uh, the Detroit Grand Prix, and actually the Corvettes are qualified first and second in the GTP All or right. GTLM. Mm-hmm. i got to cut you off now because I know that Mars is going to go long with his review Here we go. of the Cadillac CT5, which was not scheduled to run today. That's going to be tomorrow's, but because uh, Mr. Mars misread, I guess. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I, did, did you go over there? I'm going to have to look at that. <clears throat> did you smoke something? <laughs> I haven't, uh, I haven't smoked And didn't in share years. with the rest of us? i got to look at that. I'll have to look and see what I sent you. It's a typo. It's not what I have written down. It's a typo. Becky Mars is watching. I know. That's why I'm not admitting to anything. Well, uh, Gina. Hi, Gina. I, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what I did with it. I've got it somewhere. But Look at this. It's <coughs> yeah. mine. Yeah. It's mine. Uh, I've got written right here. Jeff, six, you're, not, you're not helping, Jeff. 612. And right there, you'll, you'll notice that it says Mercedes-Benz E450. I That's what I, I have here. I can't see that from here. Here. P- uh, pass that down. No, the, the, no, I don't have time to mess with that. I got, I got, I got a review well, no, to do I think here. We've made enough I, mistakes. I think, what, I think what we've done is we've just canceled that car we review. We've now gone over it. Becky not, will remind him of more things when he gets home. This we afternoon. have gone oh, trust over Trust me, I will. <laughs> okay. Uh, for the bottom of the hour break. Go ahead, Mars. <laughs> so, just whatever my damn, review. Whatever damn only car got three you got. Three minutes now. Yeah. Tick tock, so. because I'm going to cut you off. 2021 Cadillac CT5 V Series rear wheel drive vehicle. We're talking about a luxury midsize sedan. Some people may call it a small vehicle, but it's pretty big for being in that category. It has a long, lean, to me, it's an almost coupe like look to it, very angular wedge shape to it, and I really like it because of the long hood, the short deck lid in the back, very performance-oriented. Um, it's got a mesh performance grill up front because it is the V-Series. Got body color side moldings, rear wheel spo- rear tail spoiler, LED lighting all around, and it's vertical lighting in the front and in the rear of it, and that makes a big difference to the way it looks going down the road because it stands out real well. Um, V-Series, got Bimbro brakes on it. We're rolling on some 19-inch alloy wheels that are Bim- optional with Brimbo. Wait a minute. What did I say? Bimbo. You said bimbo. I, bimbo. 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 Brimbo. And the word of the day is stripper. <laughs> there it goes. So it's Brimbo brakes to stop the 19-inch alloy wheels with run flats on them. And I'm not a big fan of run flats, but I didn't even notice these uh, were being very harsh, which is my problem with them. It's well, stiff bimbo runs flats. So I'm going into Strippers. the interior now, leaving y'all. Y'all leave me alone. So. The front seat, it's a semi-aniline leather seating. The front seats are, are, and the rear seats are heated and ventilated. The uh, rear seat is a split folding seat. It's got an interior lighting package on it, a Bose 15-speaker audio system in it, a 10-inch touchscreen for you're going to find all your convenience controls and stuff in the, in the center stack, got a 12-inch digital instrument cluster, and an H- a heads-up display on it that's got lots of stuff on it. Some of it I still haven't figured out. Oh. We had several different packages on this interior thing. We had the Platinum package, Premium package, and the Technology package. So it brought in a lot of features and a lot of things, a lot of technology in here. One thing is the trunk on this thing is only 11.9 cubic feet, but it opens wide up, almost 90 degrees, and I like that. I hate hitting my head when I'm trying to put stuff in there. So you can put a lot of stuff in here even though there's not a lot of room in there. Now, up under the hood... It's got a 3.0 liter twin turbo V6. Now, this version of it has 360 horsepower, 405 pound feet pound of torque, and it's backed by a 10 speed automatic. I'm talking, I'm going to get to this end. And uh, the EPA says you should be looking for 18 on, in the city, Highway 27, and combined 21. I got 19 because uh, this thing runs on premium fuel and it's got a launch control and it's got a traction management system that's very similar to the Corvettes on it. So it's very much that V-Series brings in some performance into this luxury sedan, which is really nice because it's a smooth, quiet, Cadillac comfortable ride, I think. But it's got performance to it. I mean, it's not a race car race car. It's not like the big hopped up one, but it's very 
performance oriented and when you drive it you feel like you're driving a hot rod instead of a little bit of a luxury car if you're looking for something to compare it to you're going to look possibly at the genesis g70 there's a lot of them out there it starts at 46 200 plus options bmw 3 series you can get in there at 41 250 plus some options an Audi A4 at 48,785 plus options. Even a Volvo starts at 48,000. So you can get a base CTV, CT5V for 47,795 wow. as the starting point. However, we had some options, as I mentioned. We had several of the technology packages and things like that. That pushed the MSRP as tested up to 63,445 in a car that if I had the money, I would consider buying. The end. The end. The In Wheel Time Car Show streams on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and InWheelTime.com. Podcasts available on your favorite podcast provider. The In Wheel Time Car Show continues right after this break. Let me tell you about a locally owned and operated group of dealerships called Bayway. Bayway owner Daryl Wisniewski is born and raised right here, and he knows Houstonians better than anyone. Bayway Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, Bayway Lincoln and Bayway Chevrolet are managed by Lincoln Stahl. And when you get to know these guys, you'll want to become part of the Bayway family too. Feel good that you're part of Houstonian-owned Bayway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram.com, Bayway Chevrolet.com and Bayway Lincoln.com. Remember the name, Bayway. Tailpipes and Tacos expands again. Now you'll be able to participate at three Loopy Tortilla locations. Tailpipes and Tacos is Houston's premier Saturday morning cruise-in, featuring made-to-order breakfast tacos, fresh coffee, and good times. Mark your calendar for Saturday, June 19th for Tailpipes and Tacos, now at three Loopy Tortilla locations. Highway 249 in Tomball, West U on 59 near Kirby, and in Katy on the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard. At Tailpipes and Tacos, you'll see collector cars, hot rods, customs, magnificent originals, and resto mods. Cars from all over Southeast Texas cruise in and show off in a friends and family event at three Loopy Tortilla Mexican restaurants in Katy, Tomball, and West U. Drag racer car enthusiast and Loopy founder Stan Holt brings you Houston's hottest cruise in, Tailpipes and Tacos, Saturday, June 19th, 8 to 11 a.m. The In Wheel Time Car Show will be broadcasting from the Katy location. Tailpipes and Tacos, Saturday morning, June 19th, 8 to 11 a.m., now now at three locations, Tomball, Katie, and Westview, weather permitting. You see all the new ceramic car wash cleaners on TV now, but John Gray at Gulf Coast Auto Shield has been using ceramic coatings on Houston's most expensive cars for years, and he'll tell you that nothing beats the real thing. Gulf Coast Auto Shield installs a coating over your paint that actually comes with a warranty. If you just picked up your Lambo, your Aston Martin, Porsche, Ferrari, any other exotic car, chances are your car will have company that have already found Gulf Coast Auto Shield. Now, you don't have to own an exotic. Maybe you got a truck, an SUV, or even an older vehicle that needs a little love. Well, let John Gray give it a look and give you an estimate on refurbishing that paint and making your vehicle look new again. How about getting a gift certificate for the wife's birthday or anniversary from Gulf Coast Auto Shield and tell her, honey, I know you love your car, so why don't we get it looking? it new again. It'll be the best gift ever, one that she'll never forget. Get hold of John Gray at gcautoshield.com or give him a call 832-264-0670. Gulf Coast Auto Shield. <laughs> 